What is going on guys, JD here, back with another Black Ops 2 weapon profiling video. Another weapon guide for you guys, telling you what I use and what my favorite guns are, what attachments I use, and I go over them with you in hopes that maybe it will make you guys a little bit better at Black Ops 2 than what you currently are. We all know that the patch that was released this past weekend by Triarch, version 1.04, there were nerfs to the SMGs and there were nerfs to the ARs in terms of recoil. Now, I'm kind of upset with this patch because the two guns that I primarily use, the SWAT 5.56 and the M8A1, got noticeable amounts of recoil. I've been able to have good games here and there with them, but it makes you think, did they really need to nerf these guns? I mean, the SWAT 5.56, how many people that you can honestly say you've seen in the lobbies you played in use that gun with that select fire attachment combination? Confirmed. I think I may have been in one lobby. Two lobbies tops since the game came out. Who well, I've so so seen people using that. Who complained about the SWAT and the select fire attachment together? The recoil is an upward recoil now, so if you like to spray or if you're shooting at somebody at a long, a long distance, you have to be very careful now and, con and control your shots. Otherwise, you're going to be off target. So it got me thinking when I got home from work last night. Maybe JD needs to give in. Maybe JD needs to become what he really doesn't want to become. A noob. A tryhard like everybody else and just you suck it up. And just do it. Equipped SMG with laser sight and silencer and put on Ghost. So it did that thing. Which is evident in this game. I'm back in the slums. One of my favorite ma maps in Black Ops 2. And I'm running the gun I'm going to be talking about today. One of the very few SMGs that I like to go to when I'm having a, when I'm having a tough time. Slap that thing on or have a good game. The Vector K10. UAV inbound. If you guys are familiar with Modern Warfare 2, we all know the Vector was first seen there. And it made its return with the release of Black Ops 2. It's pretty much the same exact gun you've seen in Modern Warfare 2, but the only difference is in Black Ops 2, the gun holds 36 rounds per clip, whereas in Modern Warfare 2, it only held 30. It's unlocked at level 16, and it is the second SMG that, that you unlock as you prestige up to level 55. The gun to me is perfect for close quarters combats. It's got great iron sights. It's easy to handle. It's got a nice sleek look. You'll notice a huge drop off when engaging at gunfights at a distance where the damage drops off severely and the control of the gun is a lot harder to manage. Now the damage on the Vector is 33 at close range and drops off to an 18 at a distance. So like I said, you'll want to be somewhat at mid to close range when engaging in those gunfights. Reload time is 1.9 seconds. With an empty clip, it goes up to 2.62 uh, seconds. So like I said in my other two weapon profile videos, make sure you reload when you need to reload because you don't want to be caught reloading in enemy territory if you want to rack up a couple more kills to get your score streaks. Uh, if it's going to be that big of a difference between standard reload and an, and, and an empty clip, make sure you reload. Now the rate of fire on the Vector is 900 rounds per minute with rapid fire attached it is 1200 rounds per minute now you can definitely go one of two ways with this the recoil at close range is controllable so rapid fire may not be so bad if you have it equipped but at a distance it will become very erratic with this i say the rate of fire is a solid 900 rounds per minute as is by default and if you're going to equip the rapid fire it's only going to make the gun's recoil worse than it already is so i rather I'd rather maintain that controllable recoil at mid to, mid to long range just in case you get into those gunfights. So to me the rapid fire attachment is not really necessary but it's completely personal preference. As far as the attachments go for the Vector, what I recommend is pretty much what everyone is using on SMGs these days. First of all, you're going to run primary gunfire as one of your wild cards and give yourself those three attachments. It's, gonna, it's what's going to win you those gunfights. First attachment will be the laser sight. If you're running an SMG, more than likely you are rushing. So you're going to want to give yourself the best chance of winning those gunfights at a quick pace. Firing from the hip has never been more easier in Black Ops 2, so you might as well take full advantage of it now. Secondly, I would attach fast mags. Now, the reason I say fast mags is because I don't know if you guys had the same problem as, as me, but it's a horrible habit of mine where I reload my weapon after firing only a little bit, after every shot fired. I have to reload. And it's gotten me into trouble sometimes, so I keep... So, so to keep up with that rushing pace, I feel it's best to equip fast max. And also with the high rate of fire, you'll probably fly through those bullets very quickly, so you might as well be prepared with a quick reload. The last and final attachment will be the silencer. I really do want to do a video on just my reasons for why the silencer is essential to your success in Black Ops 2, and it is. It's a huge part of your success. Everyone is using it. The goddamn thing keeps you off the radar. 
If you needed one thing to help you out in Black Ops 2, it's to be kept off the radar, especially with how bad the map design is. These maps are perfect for SMGs if you're going to be rushing, so you want to stay off the map. You know, the spawns are very bad, so, you know, you know, there's always somebody behind you or around every corner. Silencer is going to keep you off the radar, but it will come at a cost. You will lose damage to your weapon over a distance, but with an SMG, that, it's not really going to make much of a difference because you're going to be uh, mostly up and close, uh, up close and personal uh, with everybody and getting in those close quarter gunfights. That five, that's five points if you pick 10 system right there, just on your primary weapon. The perks that you should pair with, uh, with your gun and attachments, number one, Ghost. Ghost for your blue perk, obviously, to remain off the radar while UAV is in the air. And as a side note, I just want to say I love the patch to the UAV spam. It's nice not having the announcer say enemy UAV inbound every four seconds. Uh, it's very nice. Second perk will be either scavenger or toughness. Now, toughness is such an underrated perk. You really don't realize how important it is until you play without it. I have I have it on almost all of my classes. And it's one of those perks that you just need to have, in my honest opinion. Scavenger obviously replenishes your ammo when a killed enemy drops uh, the blue ammo packs. It also replenishes lethals and tacticals. Third perk, engineer. Okay, easily engineer. With the map littered with claymores and beddies, you need to be prepared. I literally ran into one team last night full of noobs who had shock charges and beddies everywhere. If I didn't have engineer equipped, I would have been a goner. As far as lethals and tacticals go, the usual equip yourself with a betty, you know, maybe a black cat or a shock charge for your tactical, you know, the, the standard stuff. And that's pretty much it, guys. Very basic uh, SMG class right there that I'm recommending you guys use. I hope this helps you out. That's my loadout for the Vector. It's been one of those SMGs to me that's been very comfortable to work with. All I can say is if you haven't tried it out, do so. It's a nice gun to use if you want to get away from the typical MP7 PDW spam that everybody's been using. But if you guys enjoyed that gameplay and commentary, hit that like button, subscribe. Um, I would greatly appreciate it. Um, I'm up to 350 subscribers plus now. I'm uh, heading towards 400. So I really appreciate everybody that's jumped on board with my channel. Uh, until the next video, guys, I might do the Scorpion, I might I might do the Type 25, uh, because with the nerfs to my other two favorite ARs, I've been using the Type 25 a lot lately. Um, but I also may do a Silencer weapon since uh, I've been using the Silencer a lot, so I, I want to bring that to you guys. So maybe I'll do that in my next video. But until then, guys, enjoy the rest of the gameplay. JD leads his team to victory, number one on top of the leaderboards here. Take care. I'll talk to you soon. Peace, guys. UAV on standby. He's out. Presented us well.